Welcome back to Cleveland on Rocks. Elijah Burn Bar. And I'm Matt. That's Jay. That's Steve. Steve brought a super cool bottle from Weller. Foolproof. Welcome back, guys. So we got our bottle of foolproof here. Steve was like, Matt, I got a bottle of Weller Foolproof. And I was like, so do I. And he goes, mine's open, let's drink it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, now we are here. Me so, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, just like everyone else, how did you come upon getting this bottle, though? Where did you get this one Actually, from? my mother went and got a ticket. Damn, me too. I was there. Up. That's yeah. awesome. Hey, Mom, notes. It was out easy. Take though. notes. Yes. Right? Thank you for that. This is awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. That's awesome. This is killer. Appreciate so it. basically, Weller Blue, Weller Orange, Weller White only come here twice a year, give or take, once yeah, a year. If that, and yeah. you have to get a number, you get in line, you wait for it. They had Weller 12, they had Weller Full Proof on this one. And then the other one that we went for was the white one. We got the white and the single barrel were on the other one. So once a year, you can get in line, wait there. We waited nine hours to get the white one, so it's like it is what it is. But you didn't even have to do any of that. Mom went and got, dude, that's some crazy. That's nice. Hot five, mom. Hot up. five. That's killer. Appreciate that. Dude, that's like a loving mother-son relationship. I feel like that's awesome. But, so, and you've went through most of this bottle. You you did this with us this weekend. So, yeah. And I don't remember it because this is like pour number 75. So I have no idea what this tastes like to be 100% honest with you. So I'm going to give you an open review right here. So this one is the Weller Full Proof. This is the blue one that everyone's looking for. 57%, uh, 114 proof. And... This would be the bottle that I, I feel like most people are looking for. Mm -hmm. The top weller I think the people are looking for is the orange one. And I've had it once and I thought it was great. And, and the white probably. The, the white blue. would be the second and then the blue and then the black. But this is kind of hard to find a port of. Very much so, very much so. And then Steve just comes in my basement like, yo man, look what I got. And I'm like, damn, that's killer. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna have the pop that you would have when it was there because yeah. there's a lot of air in there that did that, you know. But this is killer. All right. I'm gonna pour a, a two sipper here. This way you have something to take home. So if Katie wants to try something, it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> She's not with it with it either? No. Nothing? Too strong for her. Oh, too proofy. Huh. So how. This guy in the middle may have trouble with it too. Really? I think it's going to be borderline. To be honest, the, the consensus this weekend when we did try this was... Uh, it was smell hot though. Most of the people did think this was a little too hot for their profile, that they wouldn't drink this and sip this on a daily basis, but this is still a bottle that they would look for. Um, so, me personally, I don't know. This was... He brought... We went through cases of different stuff, and by the time I got to try this, like I told him, I said... I feel like we're wasting this at this point because right. I don't remember what this tastes yeah. like and I'm not going to know. Palette was off. It was. And everything else. A little numb tongue. Oh, this one smells, yeah, smells really, good. really, really, smells really, really good. good. Smells, smells light. Smells mm -hmm. like a muffin. It's real sweet. Like a cinnamon and mm -hmm. sugar muffin. So Lots you, of sugar smell. Your mom yeah. just made muffins. And she's ready for you to go to school. And she just made these cinnamon sugar muffins. I wish I grew up in your house. Dude, my mom used to make muffins all the time. Damn. First we day of school. fruits and this. Huh? First day of school? No, she used to make us food. I mean, she, she stayed at home. She was doing the thing with us. She That's was awesome. making us food. Mine's Hence like, the reason why I'm so big right now. You get know what I'm saying? Like, doing I'm like, like, summer vacation, mom. So get the fuck out of the house. I mean, get out of the house. I'm pretty sure she didn't say that to you. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. That, that was, was a little crazy. rough. Yeah. I, feel, yeah. I feel like... I, there was I no like, muffins or anything, man. <laughs> that was rough. God, no Weller full proof for you, buddy. It's a hard knock life. No, this is yeah. this is a very easy smell. A little smell. bit of fruity. Yeah. It does. There's almost like it's an apple, methanol. like an apple scent in there. Yeah, yeah. There's there's definitely ethanol in here. Let me let me put that out there as well. I like it. Yeah. I like the it smell. smells really good. Y'all ready for this? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Cheers. 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 Cheers, guys. Oh wow, that's good. Real fruity. Mm -hmm. See, I don't remember this from this weekend. This is killer. All right, so this one starts off very light on the tongue. It's a very, like a buttered brown sugar on the end of your tongue. It comes back to like a, almost like a yeasty bread taste on the back. That heightened sense of heat catches you in the back of your throat. And it goes down to a warmth that drops down in your stomach. And then it just kind of finishes very easy. Mm-hmm. 
Um, Am I crazy? Is it like warm apples? Yeah, I will give you that. I will. Yep. I'm we, were, with you there. we were on the apple thing at the beginning, and we stuck with it here too, and it really does. Yeah, it's, it's very like good. it's like warm apples with cinnamon. Like I would have really wished I got when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he was in my house, we'd have had that. Thanks, yeah. mom. Love you. I mean, the next time Weller has numbers at the store, like, if you want to go up there, like, it'd be all right. Like, I wouldn't be mad, you know. Mm -hmm. I did go up there and get numbers at a couple stores, too, and sent people there, so it's all right. <laughs> it scared me when you said I wasn't going to like it. It's, it's uh... Well, it's normally, little, you're it's the... on the warmer side. You're the 90-proof Canadian warm, whiskey guy, so it's yeah. like, it's it's there, and... The thing is, though, this is this is ridiculously good for... Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, for what good it is. flavor and just... Mm -hmm. Melt away, especially nice. for the for the price point that you got it at, because most people don't get the bottle at the price point that it comes at in Ohio, yeah, like sixty this. some dollars or whatever. I think this 65? wasn't this one. Yes, I think yeah, 65. I think it was. I think it's right there, because mm -hmm. I, the other one was fifty eight, the twelve year was fifty eight, and this one was sixty five. This was the, a little bit. Uh, it was like eight dollars more than the other one, but yeah. yeah. And I was like, the only reason I went for this one. Because I do have one of these, is because Jim went for the 12 year, and I was like, well, I want to have one that he doesn't have, so I'm gonna buy the blue one. Yep. So we do that. Marshall, you wanna you wanna come shoot with us? Come here, come here. <laughs> and I always oh. try. To, I always try. This is the first video I had Marshall on here. Marshall's like, hey. Marshall, how are you? He's like, hey, I wanna try. I wanna try some whiskey too. We're gonna get him some dog brew from Bush, cause Bush makes some dog brew. They'd be doing a thing. All right, buddy, go ahead. Go upstairs. Chevy used to come on the videos with us, but now he doesn't come. He can't come down with us no more. So now it's sad. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, but, Chevy. I know. That's right. Chevy was my guy. He was awesome. I never let him drink whiskey, but I feel like he should have before he passed. That would have been cool. Well, now maybe Marshall can pick that up and we can drink. He came with down Marshall. for a good bottle, though. He, he did. He, he came down for the right one. Yeah, He's yeah. like, yo. That warm apple. Turn him up. Well, they're blue. I've never seen this in the dog community. Yeah. Like, ha ha ha. But no, this, this is killer. I to be always, honest with you, this is one that I was looking for for like forever. And then Jim calls me at 2.30 on a Thursday? Wednesday? Whatever night that was. And I'm like, yeah, yeah we can do that. it was a Thursday release. It was. And it was yeah. a super weird thing where random. Ohio sent out a thing at 2.05. And I got a message at 2.05. And I caught it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to go to the store. And Jim goes, Matt, I'm at Giant Eagle. I'm number 25. And I'm like... Well, that's cool. So you're gonna end up getting nothing because they have six bottles in the case. I'm sure they have a case of each. So you're gonna, if you're not the first twelve, like, cool. Well, then all of a sudden I saw a picture and they were like, "There's 72 bottles of this and 60 bottles of this." And I'm like, "Wait a minute, what the hell?" Well, let me see what number I get. So I went up there and I got number 38. There's a lot of pissed off people at me and Bria. It was so funny. I went up there and got a number. There was people waiting in lawn chairs that didn't go get numbers. I don't think they knew you were supposed to get a number. I walked in there, got a number, and they're like, Matt, you don't have to sit here. Like, you can come back. I'm like, I can come back? And they're like, yeah, at 6. And I'm like, okay. Come back at 6, and he called numbers off. He had a little check sheet and did the thing. Love y'all at Ross, man. Y'all are the coolest people ever. And, yeah, they ended up getting me one of these, and I was super happy with that. So, to be honest, when you can get it for this much, I feel like it's killer. Would you pay $230 for this bottle? I don't think I would I mean, I would pay. I've seen them higher, like three, four hundred bucks, but right, yeah. Justin's house I mean, good, has it like that. I don't know that I would spend that much. Like I spent two thirty, no, I spent two forty-five on Joseph Bang Cigar Blend, and to me, that is my number one bottle of last year. I know I didn't do a bottle thing on last year on the thing, but at the end of the year, it was kind of a rough time. My dog was sick, and then that, all that happened, so I didn't shoot a video on it. But um, yeah, I I don't know that I would pay. Two hundred two hundred dollars for this bottle either. Yeah, I think I at wouldn't. the at the sixty five dollar price range, I feel like all day long this would be killer. Like that'd be cool. Yes, agreed. What do you, you know? I try to pair everything. Mm -hmm. This is more of a dessert for me. Really? Mm -hmm. Dang! And you were thinking because he was gonna sweet. like it either. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. very sweet though. It's, it's really sweet. good. I think I pair this with a dessert. What kind? Cheesecake, apple pie. Apple peach, pie would be perfect. Peach cobbler. Peach, peach cobbler, cobbler. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is really good. Because it gives mm -hmm. you that warm feeling. I get the warm and the, and the apple taste in there for me. Um, surprisingly, like you said, I, I didn't think I was going to like it either. Especially after you threw a warning out there. Surgeon General. Um, Surgeon General. <laughs> that <laughs> and, uh, was awesome. Yep. It was. Uh, it, it's surprisingly good. Mm -hmm. It is. So, I mean, honestly, 
you can find these at the normal price if you would look hard enough and you know enough people in the community and here and in Ohio it's a lot easier than a lot of other places so we we have stuff like this that comes every couple months and like it's really cool when they do stuff like that so and I'm usually one of the ones in line and doing a thing so all you guys that were there that were mad at me that you didn't see me there earlier and I came there at 6.05 and I was late and yeah it's okay my wife was sitting in the car super mad at me too so there was a lot of mad people at me that day but let me just tell you i walked out with one of these and was like super cheesing bro it was awesome so this is a really cool bottle i think at 65 bucks this is the perfect bottle to go at honestly yeah for sure but i think if you're gonna go 200 dollars for this i feel like that's there's so many different bottles you can buy for 200 dollars. like i feel like it's mm -hmm. not but not that it's not worth 200 so, I mean, I honestly, if you haven't, on if you else. hadn't had it before, and you have a budget which allows you to pay two hundred bucks, to be honest with it. you, I wouldn't be mad if you went yeah. and bought this for yeah, two hundred bucks. It. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if any of you guys want to pay two hundred bucks for a bottle, I have one, so that'd be fine. Like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> honestly, at that price point, add forty more bucks to it and go buy Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend, and you'll get that. It's not a Buffalo Chase product. It's not a Weller thing. But honestly, to me. That's my number one bottle of last year. I'm going to be running on that for quite a while because I didn't get to do my video for last year. So I'm going to be on the Joseph Magnus thing for a minute. So it is what it is. But very, very good bottle, especially in the price range where it's at. I think it drinks above what the money you pay for it mm -hmm. is. Yeah, so I agree. you're not going to be mad at this. Wait in line for it. Like, it's cool. We do that all the time. You know what? I think half the fun in waiting in a line for these bottles is meeting the people you meet in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. When me and Jim waited for the white, the white Weller, let me just tell you, we met like 12 other super cool bourbon guys, but we slept in a truck for a couple hours and it was like an awesome time. Like it was really, really fun. You meet really cool people. So there's a lot of cool stuff out there. You meet a lot of cool people, you know what I'm saying? And you can enjoy some stuff that you wouldn't have at home. Like I, I feel like that's cool. So get out there, find a bottle you like. If you do like this bottle and you've had it before, write it down in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think because I want to know what you guys think. Make sure if you guys are out there doing a thing with your friends, you're at the bar doing that thing, make sure you're not drinking a drive and get home safe. Call an Uber, man. It's so much cheaper than that $10,000 thing you got to do when the cops get you. <laughs> make sure you like, share, subscribe on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. Do all them things. Get you a shirt, man. Tell everybody you know Cleveland on the Rocks doing a thing. And we'll see you guys next time.